morning guys it's pastor chris true life way hope you're having a great day hope you're having a great weekend it is my weekend to work so i'm bringing you this message from the water plant today uh last sunday we had a good time we went and participated we rep represented barrow county in the sixth annual uh statewide bible reading that went well we were uh like i said we're honored to be able to represent barrow county in that that was our fifth year sixth year overall but today I have a message I want to bring to you, and I want to ask you a question. Have you ever felt in your life that you just aren't getting anywhere? You feel like you start slowing down, or you start feeling a little bit on the sluggish side of things, you know? And I believe at some point in our lives, we've all felt like this. It seems like you'll take a couple steps forward, and you wind up taking more steps backwards. You'll get, a, you know, you'll get ahead over here, and then you fall back over there. It just seems like it's a, a roll of the dice sometimes, what it seems like to me at times. It doesn't matter how much you progress, you always seem to take more steps back. But I want to tell you today that that is life and that is something that we are all going to go through. You know, getting overburdened or just plain out burned out. No matter what it seems, you just aren't getting anywhere. As I said, that is life. And we are going to get through this. We are going to go through this at times. Sometimes we feel like we just need to have a reset, don't we? I said sometimes we feel like we just need to have a reset. And I want to talk to you, I want to bring to you a message called Reset Me. I want to talk about what we do in those, sets, in those situations. But let's turn to our key verse today is Revelation 21 verse 5. And it says that he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. You bow your heads, let's pray. Lord, we're thankful for this day that you give us, God. We thank you, Lord, for your many blessings. God, I ask you let this message be a seed planted in someone's life today, God. If they've been uh, struggling, they've been slowing down, they just feel like they can't make, make it in, uh, meet anymore, they just can't do it anymore. And they feel like they've done, they've done wrong in the past. They've messed up in their lives. God, I ask that you will give us this mindset that, we'll, that we can ask you to reset us, Lord. And that you will set us on the right path that we need to go today. And we thank you, Lord, for that. And we love you and we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, pray. And the church said, Amen. Amen. <clears throat> you know, I did a message similar to this back in uh, 2018. And I can't help but feel how relevant it is right now even i myself at times here lately have felt so overburdened and just feel so burned out at times and i feel like i can't get ahead but i know god's got me and also i know that there's people that are in far worse situations than i am and i'm not saying i'm in a terrible situation i'm just saying you get burned out in work you get burned out in life and just everything seems to happen all at once and you know you ever have you ever asked yourself i mean not yourself have you ever asked god to reset me reset me lord i need a refreshing i need a reboot i need a reset in my life and i you know i know i'm not the only one that's ever said this prayer that's asked that's asked god hey i need you to come in Re reset me but what does it mean to reset reset is defined as set again or differently so to be reset we are setting again or setting differently if we ask God to reset us we're asking God to set us again or to set us differently amen and you know I like to use a lot of uh, stuff that I actually go through personally in these messages I think a lot of pastor preachers like to do that things that happen in their real life to relate to these things that thanks it makes me think about a couple of weeks ago maybe a month ago by now when it was incredibly hot outside and of course you know I, I work at the water plant we have water pumps that pump water into the distribution system that they got to run 24 7. if they're off we can't pump water into the system and people will not have any water so obviously it's important to keep them running they operate using a vfd or variable frequency drive and it allows us to change the speed of the pumps as, in, as needed according to the demand. So 
if I don't have a whole lot of demand, I can back off on the pressure. If I need need to push more water, if there's more wa uh, a heavier demand, I can push more water out to the system. That, it gives us that ability to change the speed settings on it. And they produce some heat themselves. But this one particular day, I'd worked that day, and you know everything was going fine throughout the day, and, and the, the night shift operator came in, relieved me. All was good until about an hour later, and I got a call that one of the pumps had faulted and would not reset. He swapped over to the other pump and it ran for a few minutes before it faulted as well. I was called in to help, you know, and try to reset the pumps and it was incredibly hot in that room. And it, you know, it's a, it's a room with VFDs and then there's pumps in another room. It's, it's you know, it's always kind of on the warm side anyways, but this particular night, I mean, this particular day, it had gotten so hot outside it was a scorching scorcher inside that that building that night when i went in there and unfortunately the ac you know just couldn't keep up which is something we're experiencing at home right now with these high temperatures the ac will run run and run just can't keep up but anyways we finally got it set up and able to and and, and you know got it portable units in there to stay cool and then after getting it resetted it worked now it took a couple of resets. I want you to understand something. It took a couple of resets before we got it going. It wasn't where I could just reset it one time and after that it was fine. No, it took a couple of resets because I had to cool down and all that. But after we finally got it reset that last time, it worked. And since then we've, had, we've uh, upgraded the cooling and we haven't had any problems with it. We still must get someone to inspect one of the other pumps though, but the other pump has been fine with proper cooling. And I said all that to say this, I look at this VFD, you know, getting hot, it would cause it to shut down because it was overburdened, it was burned out just like we get it. It was like that, like the panel was just begging to be reset. It was just begging to be refreshed. And again, that's just like us sometimes. The scripture we read from Revelation says, look, I am making all things new. You feeling overburdened, I'll reset you. You feeling burned out? I'll reset you. I'm making all things new for you. Amen? That's how I look at that. That It was just crying out for help. Like, I, I'm overburdened. I'm overworked. I'm tired. I need a reset in my life. Although I'm talking about a panel box, but you get what I'm saying. Psalms 51.10, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. This is the prayer we pray to create in me a clean heart and to reset a right spirit in me. Set me differently than what I have been lately. Amen. Let me say that again. Set me differently, Lord, than what I have been lately. Because, you know, sometimes the way I've been set, I, I, you know, I'll try to set myself and I just can't set myself the way God can set me. Amen. I need to let God come in and set me differently than what I have been lately. Amen. That is why resets are important in our lives. And I'm thankful today that we serve a God that is a God willing to reset us when we need to be reset. Amen? You know, also I think about, uh, you know, you ever been on your computer or your phone and it's, it starts to run real slow. You know, it takes forever to load up Microsoft Word or Internet, uh, Microsoft Edge, whatever takes a minute to, to, to run and start things. Sometimes it becomes sluggish and a simple reset will have it running better than it was and that is the same with us. Amen? You see, you get the where the, like we've had a problem with the computer here at work at times where it'll start running slow and you know the stuff's just been in memory and, it's, and you start to lose the memory and then you have to reset it so when the computer starts back up it's not worried about what was stored previously i mean obviously you're going to keep some stuff on there but the as far as the the what was running before it's no longer having to be there anymore so it gets a fresh start a reboot a reset if somebody's following me today if it was in a room i'd have somebody say amen right now but it doesn't worry about what it was what it had before amen we also can't allow our past to slow us down either. You know, I've seen it so many times where people think that their past defines who they are today. You know, it's just, like I said, it's, it sounds simple, but when you reset that computer, the stuff that doesn't have to be in memory is gone, it's, it's erased, you don't have to worry about it. 
you reset the computer, it comes back new. We can have that reset. We don't have to worry about what we once was. We don't have to worry about what we once did because we have a God that will cast that into the sea of forgetfulness and we can walk in the newness of life today because our past will not define who we are because we can have a reset in our lives. Amen? That's why we need Jesus to come in and reset us so we don't worry about what once was, but what is now. Romans 6, 4, Therefore we are buried with Him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. We are buried with Christ by baptism into death. That like Jesus was raised up from the dead, we do too, so we should walk in the newness of life. It is a reset in our life. It takes us to seek forgiveness and to repent of our sins and to ask God to reset me. Amen? Reset me. I want to be made new. I want that clean heart. I want the right spirit to be renewed or reset within me. I don't have to walk the way I used to. I don't have to be burdened by my past and slow down. Some of us struggle with the things we've done in our past so bad sometimes. Some of us need to get out of our, our head out of the past and get moving into the future. Don't worry about the past. What is done is done and it can't be changed. For so many of us, we can't progress in Jesus. We can't move on in life because we are so focused on who or what we used to be. I tell you tonight, do not allow yourself to be slowed down by your past. But, but, but what about the things I've done in my life? You know, I bring this up all the time. I had, when I was youth pastor, I would have teenagers, they would ask me, well, I've done some wrong things. I've done so many things. I've done this. I've done that. How could a God forgive me? How could God love me through all that? Micah 7, 19, he will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities and thou, and thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. He will have compassion on us and He will conquer our sin and will cast all sin into the depths of the sea to never to be remembered again because we have been reset. Amen? We can have this new life in Jesus Christ today. He isn't worried about what you've done. Because we're all going to sin. You know, we, we say that all the time. Like, He doesn't care what you've done. He doesn't care where you went. He doesn't care about any of that. He just wants you here. Just like the prodigal son, when he went off and, and, and lived a frivolous life and spent all he had with just crazy and riotous living, and, you know, he, he was prepared to come back to his father and say, just make me a servant. You know, I'm not worthy to be called your son. But yet, the father opened him you know, embraced him with open arms that day when he come back. That's how God looks at us. He doesn't care about your past. He doesn't care about what you've done. He's looking at you now because you are his child and he loves you. And he is willing to come in and reset you. If we just pray to God to reset me today. And as I said, we have all sinned and fallen short the glory of God. That's Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I've said this so many times and I'm going to keep on saying it. Every single one of us has sinned and fallen short, but God is there. He knows we are not perfect. And you know what? I, I don't really expect Him. To, I don't think He really expects us to, to be perfect. Now, that doesn't mean you just go out and do whatever you want to do and just you know, live a crazy life. That's not what I'm saying at all. But if he expected us to be perfect, he wouldn't have had to send Jesus Christ on the cross. He wouldn't have, Jesus Christ wouldn't have had to die for us on the cross if we were meant to be perfect. Now we always we want to strive to do good, but we're not going to be perfect. We are given free will and the ability to make our own decisions. As I get ready to close this message, let me say that again. We are given free will and the ability to make our own decisions. So what if you decide to give your heart to God today? Yes, I, I know I'm at work recording this, and due to security, I am not allowed to do videos 
here while I do these messages. But what if you just earnestly ask God to reset me? Lord, I'm asking you to forgive me of my sins. Thank you for dying for my sins and thank you for loving me. Ask God to create in you a clean heart today and to renew a right spirit within you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you for this day that you've given us, God, and I thank you, Lord, for your many blessings today. Father, I ask that you let all those under the sound of my voice at this time, God, to, that they will seek you out today. Lord, we ask that you will reset us today and create in us a clean heart and renew the, the right spirit within us today. And God, if anybody that's listening, God, if they're under the sound of my voice at this time, God, if they've been facing something, if they've been going through something, Lord, I just ask that you will touch them, Lord, right now in your precious name, God. If they need healing, God, that you will heal them. If they need deliverance, God, that you will deliver them today. And we thank you, Lord, for that. And we love you and we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, pray in the church. Say amen. Amen. Like I said, we have to have this mindset of, of, of letting God reset us. Let Him set us differently. Set us differently than the way we have been. And let Him get us on the right track, the right path that we need to go. Amen? That's important. And then don't allow what, what you used to do keep you from what God wants you to do today. Amen? Well, I hope you got something out of this message today. With that being said, we love you. God bless you. And we will see you on the next one. Take care.